Hi, my name is Matthew Marston. I'm a personal trainer here at Health Track Sports Wellness. I went to St. Ambrose University. I graduated with an exercise science and human performance and fitness degree. I was a football player at Glenbard West and also a college football player at St. Ambrose University. And today we're going to talk about a standing calf raise. How we're going to perform it is we're going to place our shoulders underneath the pads. Balls of your feet are going to be on the platform and your ankles are going to be relaxed. And all I want you to do is go straight up and onto your tippy toes. Hold for a second and then control it on the way back down and go up for a second rep. This exercise only includes the ankle joint. There's two muscles in the calf. It's the soleus and the gastrocnemius. The standing calf raise is going to work the soleus and also the medial and lateral part of the gastrocnemius. What the seated calf raise does is bends your knee and that's going to isolate the soleus. With the bent knee, it causes the gastrocnemius, the other muscle in your calf, to relax. You can use a wide variety of equipment here at Helltrack. We can use the machine where you place the pads over your shoulder. You can also go underneath the barbell like a squat, place it across your shoulders. You can also grab some plates or dumbbells and hold them by your side and still do the same movement. For the seated as well, you can sit at the end of the bench and place an easy bar, a straight bar, or a barbell and still perform the same movement as a seated calf raise as well. You can also do the calf raises on the leg press as well. I would avoid this exercise, one, if you have a sprained ankle, and two, if you have an inflamed Achilles tendon. Once again, my name is Matthew Marston, and thank you for watching. Uh, if you ever have any questions, feel free to approach me on the fitness floor. Thank you.